dance dialogue season is very important for us. It really gives us the opportunity for choreographers, particularly young and emerging choreographers, the platform to explore ideas, to really shape their skills. But also it's important for our own dancers to work with talented choreographers in that really uh, creative and organic way. What I'm looking for in a choreographer is very much about how individual, how original, and how creative a person is or can be. And uh, I'm all about giving the opportunities to starters or people just simply with great ideas. But you also have to get a feel, are they really that creative type? Are they, do they really have that talent? that burning desire or that passion or that imagination to really taking a simple idea or simply a piece of music to create a beautiful ballet around it. The work I've created for the Dance Dialogue season is called Winter Dawn. Um, it's inspired by the poetry of Kenneth Slezor. The images that popped into my head were just so rich, full of colour and emotion, and that's what gave me the inspiration to start the movement. I started to use more stimulus uh, and looked into Manet's paintings of cliffs, and with his impressionistic style, um, there's so much evocative movement in the paintings, so I ended up coming to a beautiful story or non-literal narrative of a woman standing on a cliff immersing herself within her own memory and getting lost within that in time. Um, this had a beautiful relation to Kenneth Slezer's poetry um, as you know he uses time and, and memory as driving metaphors in his work, especially with water. So these three elements of water, time and memory are definitely very important aspects to this creation. I guess the driving aspect I want to convey to people is that experience of when you look into a memory and when you do that, how time dis dissipates and you become totally immersed in a sweet memory. The name of the piece is The Divine Comedy and it's based on Dante Alighieri's um, poems. He was very, very patriotic and he was also in love with a particular woman um, named Beatrice. The poem is very much about the journey of life and he is selected by Beatrice to walk through the different channels of life. And it was, I was waiting at the airport to catch my flight to London and I had a six hour delay so I thought I'd get a book I never get much chance to read and I got Dan Brown's Inferno and that particular book made reference to Dante's poems and just reminded me of the poems and I thought I'll have a look. Again it was just purely coincidence that after my time in London I was going to be in Italy in Florence where um, Dante lived and so I had an opportunity to research and yeah it just really captivated me. My direction to the choreographers are very simple because I don't want to put too many conditions on them to refrain them from being creative or daring. So I think my uh, simple directions are very much to create something that is suitable for classical ballet dancers and uh, to excite the audience. My background is, is very strongly based in classical ballet but tried to create my own distinct style using the, that vocabulary. I'm still very much driven by the emotive side of dance, which classical ballet is, is very focused on. Yet the technique of classical ballet is so leg and foot influenced. Audiences can appreciate because obviously we use our hands all the time and so I really like the idea of using different gestures to help convey whatever the message is. I use it as much aesthetically, to make the work look aesthetically pleasing as well as to express a narrative. And at times I think the dancers can be a little bit, wow, what's this? But they've just completely embraced it. 
As an emerging choreographer, the more I choreograph, the more I'm discovering what my style is. I like to try and create a specific mood or emotion that is memorable um, because that's what's going to transcend to the audience the most and that's what I want to do is engage audiences as much as possible. I think for the audience is very interesting. Uh, I think they seem to really enjoy the experience of seeing brand new works. I think that's uh, really thrilling for them to you know, share the journey of the young choreographers and uh, to also be able to engage in the dialogue style to really be able to ask questions, to get inside or under the skin of the choreographers. And in the process, I think the a learning about the art form, about the creative process. I couldn't be happier working as a dancer for Queensland Ballet and as an independent and choreographer for Queensland Ballet's dance dialogue season. I'm living the dream. Lee just has such an incredible vision for dancers, choreographers, directors. I get to work with incredible dancers all over the world and certainly I could say Queensland Ballet are, are really up there with, with the best. So yeah, it's been very rewarding for me. Thank you.